Welcome to the Bruce County Public Library, Walker and Art Wall. We're here with Silvana Verdi Ramo, and her art is on the wall this month. Welcome, Silvana. Thank you. You're welcome. Good Anyways, you. Um, yeah, it's good to be here. Excellent. Silvana, how has your art practice evolved over time? Um, through the years, I started off doing sceneries and flowers and whatever's around me and then I've done a series of girls okay. which I have a, yeah, a series of um, girls which each one has a name so that was fun oh that would be very fun that is fun yes so what inspires you things people people around me um, the environment um, for instance, the trees are changing, so mm -hmm. that's kind of got me excited again, you know, to try to paint all the colors. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 All colors can be beat. Oh, they're beautiful. Stunning. All right. Yes. What are you doing to ensure that you continue to grow and develop as an artist? I try new things. I go to my studio, and even today I went in, I'm like, hmm. I love that painting, but maybe I could do something a little brighter, a little better, and um, just to inspire myself, I think. Good just by what I've done. And how many years have you been painting? I've been, oh, I went to Georgian College. I was painting before that, but after I, I started more seriously after Georgian College. So um, it's been a few years. I'm not sure how many. 20, 30, 30, 38 years, Georgian oh, wow. 87, 89, 89. A lot of years. Time flies. Excellent. Time flies. What art do you most identify with? As in modern or um, things like uh, Georgia O'Keeffe, I like her art, I like Dega, I like Leonardo, I like the realism. And, uh, I feel all arts. Nice. All arts. I do. You have a very broad spectrum. Yeah, you. I think so. I think so too. It's, I find it hard to stick to one little thing, you know. Do a bunch of flowers like that and that's all. I, I can't do that. <laughs> Sorry. So what research do you do? Basically, for instance, flowers, I took photos of these beautiful lilies in the garden. And uh, basically, that's what I do. I take pictures and photos, and I work from that sometimes, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I use, I'll use the, the photo, but do it my way. Like okay. I'll, I'll, uh, you know, your own inter yeah. interpretation. interpretation of it, yes, yes. Now, do you always use your own photos, or do you get stuff from other places, or? I like to use my own photos, uh, basically. Um, maybe those ideas help me, you know, get, mm -hmm. get my own um, original ideas. Yeah. Good. Um, what memorable responses have you had to your work? Do you know Alan Thompson? Elephant and Alan Thompson. He used to be, I think he used to work around here as a county. I'm not sure what he was. A county some, somebody. Mm. Well, anyways. He came down, he lives in Ottawa. He came down to see his mom and he decided to drop in to see my art. Oh, nice. And then all of a sudden I'm in my art room and I see this card that had his name on. I'm like, huh? <laughs> and he comes in and likes, he looks at a painting and he says, he kept staring at it. I'm like, what's what? Why does he keep staring at it? He loved it because it reminded him of the barn on his farm. Oh, nice! Yeah, well, that would make you feel good. So we came back and bought it. So there you go. It's in Ottawa. Oh, that's nice. So that's something that makes me feel good when someone, you know, can remember something from my paintings. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's interesting. It is. It is. Even to me, it still is. It is. Yeah, it still is. Okay. What superpower would you have, if any? I would like. I was thinking about that. That's a good one. <laughs> I'd like to go back to the Renaissance or the earlier arts and see how they did it. And walk through 
I was thinking of this today, but I would love to go to Van Gogh's gardens and how he painted, mm -hmm. you know, all his things, his oh. world. Yeah, time that. travel. That's a good superpower. Is, is it him that had the gardens? Anyways, they all did. Oh, Monet's gardens. gardens. That's the best one. Yes. 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 Hmm. What's the best piece of advice you've received as an artist? Keep doing art. Keep doing it. I said, okay. Yeah. That's about it. That's the only, you know. Uh, and we think that's really good advice because it would be tempting to stop when when you're down uh, and like to persevere through the, through difficult times. I've gone through times when, yeah, I don't really want to. And then all of a sudden, I go in my yard and start to fiddling around, you know, fixing things up. And but these paintings, like I'm getting ready for the, um, I'm getting excited. The end of the month, you know, the art tour. Yes. So I'm getting ready for that. I'm like, hey, I'm getting excited now. Like just that question before, just keep doing it. Yeah. Just keep, just keep it. going. It's okay. Yeah. And that's pretty good. That advice. didn't discourage me yet. That didn't discourage me yet. So I don't know. Ups and downs, I'm sure. Lots oh, of ups. Yeah. But then I also have to remind myself why I'm doing this. It's not for the money. You love it? You make beautiful art. I try. And that's what I was going to say to you. you. You do things in your studio, a certain lighting. You put it out and I come here, I'm like, oh, oh my God, I see this, I see that, I want to fix. It looks different. What come? I wonder, the lighting? I think so. Different perspective, different angles, yeah. different lighting. But it's okay. I've got a comment, nice comment. Yeah. How do you know when a work is finished? That is a good question. Sometimes you have to walk away because, for instance, I can look at that and say, I, I should have made that red brighter so it comes out more because the reds come out. Mm -hmm. But um, I guess when I can't find any more things to fix, which isn't too often. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, then you can just keep, yeah, keep picking away picking at, at it. it. You know. Sylvana, thank you for visiting us today and thank you for bringing your art. No so problem. It's fun. Lots of fun. Thank you. 